You know, it seems like only yesterday that Disneyland was just an idea and some plans on paper. My, what a pretty dress, Julie. Thank you, Walt. This is my Disneyland hostess dress. And the little, uh... And my official pin. Your badge. Right. Want to see mine? I'm number one. Secret oh. Service. <laughs> As I was about to say, here's a recent aerial photograph of Disneyland. Now, a little over 10 years ago, this whole area was just an orange grove and some farmhouses. And you couldn't have been over eight years old at that time. Actually, I was about 10. Uh-huh, the secret is out. Well, let me show you what's happened since you were 10 years old. In fact, we'll go a little farther back than that, to the time when I was pacing this place off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Two, three. Took a lot of pacing. It was over 200 acres. We built this tower so we could see the entire project, sort of a bird's eye view of our progress. After the orange grove was cleared and the houses moved, we had to carve out the hills and riverbeds. These trees made way for more exotic foliage from other lands. The Jungle Ride was one of Disneyland's original projects, and here we are now taking the exploratory cruise. The rails were laid around the perimeter of the park, and the E.P. Ripley given a trial run. tracks paralleled the Frontierland River, and we had a fine view of the Mark Twain on her shakedown cruise. Sleeping Beauty's castle and Fantasyland, of course, were part of the original construction, as was Main Street. Our next big building project was in 1959. There's the start of the submarine lagoon and the pylons to hold the monorail. If you want anything done right, you've got to do it yourself. The Matterhorn was another part of this expansion program. 